are back here on Girl Talk and Mariana. Here's the deal. We're going to talk about dirty, rotten scoundrels. I'd like to introduce you to <laughs> <laughs> dirty, <laughs> Barry and Ben. Barry is staying with us. He's going to kind of host this panel right now. Just with helping us. the Y chromosome quotient. Let's exactly. That's what we're, we're not used to having all this testosterone on the show. <laughs> Girl Rolf is here Hi. from Hilton Head Preparatory, and you're going to be talking a little bit about dirty, rotten scoundrels. We think. Right. Well. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. We have a cast of 27 Dirty Rotten Scoundrels at PrEP, and we open February 16th, this okay. Thursday, at the VPAC at Hilton Head High School. We are Hilton Head PrEP, but we perform at the VPAC at the high school. Okay. Uh, four performances only, so there's lots of theater going on right now with different groups performing so lots of uh, really good shows going on, but mm -hmm. we're for one weekend only, so catch us the 16th through the 19th. you got to okay. give us a heads up as to what it's about. Yeah, what sure. is it about? Um, mm -hmm. There was a movie in the 80s that was not a musical. It had Steve Martin and it had Michael Caine. And it, way uh, back in the 80s. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was. I think it was 1988. Uh, and, well, they took that storyline in 2007, and the same people who created the musical Full Monty. Oh, um, oh fun. They wrote this, and they have fleshed out lots of the characters, lots of the plot lines to create a really, really funny musical. The movie is funny, but the musical is funnier. How do you guys choose the, the productions you're going to do? I've always wondered that. Well, I get to pick, uh, and oh. uh, I pick something very different than Sound of Music. Uh, we did okay. Sound of Music first, and we broke our box office records. We had 1,600 did people come. Did you get to come. see that? Your kids would have loved that. Oh, yeah. It's but really But they love good. speaking of the kids, this one is rated PG-13, so you can leave the kids at home if they have a any qualms about language because uh, we have put a PG-13 rating on it. The only okay, thing good. it That's has, good. That's good to know. the only thing it has similar to the sound of music is it has nuns and it has yodeling. Other than that, there's nothing. <laughs> there's no correlation. There's no to correlation to it whatsoever. <laughs> so uh, it's it's a it's a grown-up night at the theater and it's super super funny. So your students that what are the age ranges? Uh, this is an, an all upper school production. Um, sometimes we like with sound of music. Obviously, we had. Right, we little kids, We had the little ones yeah. that built up, but this one, especially with the subject matter of it, uh, we limited it to just the upper school students. Barry, you'd be impressed with the um, the caliber and quality of acting, singing, and just the talent there. You were shocked. They, they, I, I was, mm -hmm. and, and I'm continually shocked by the work effort that they put in every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, they come three or four hours a night, six days a week, and they're working. Like, we, we skip, we're moving into the theater, and as we prepare to move into the theater, the days go from... The weekends become 12-hour days in the theater, and they're there the whole time, and they work really hard. And they're very talented, but they can outwork, I'll put them up against anyone. See, Barry, you, you're going to learn when you're on the panel. you got to be quick with those questions, because we're going to just I know. Just, I know, you're like, uh, uh, Give us a number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I call it's girl talk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's the title. <laughs> so there's, girl talk, guys. Right, there's no, <laughs> there's no, right, it's, yeah, there's no real analysis to this. Yeah. But, uh, let me ask you about sets, props, costumes, makeup. Who does all of that? The kids. The kids. Do, do they really? Really, the kids do everything. By the time, because they put so many hours into it, really by the time we get to the theater and we go on opening night, mm -hmm. I sit in the back. I don't do anything but watch. I'm an audience member. But, have, but for props, you do do like some welding, some heavy duty we do. stuff. Yeah, we do. For you do that too, for this though, show. I you? do that with the kids. We have a stagecraft class where they teach them how to do everything. We've actually got, um, for the first time, we've done a lot of welding. We've got a 40 by 20 foot huge steel hotel structure that the kids have welded. And no, this was all go. just high school students doing welding. Right. Mm -hmm. And the coolest thing they've done. I'm going to get to walk around on it. <laughs> right. And it's a trade school and a high school. Right. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. The coolest thing they've done is I, I set them up part with a challenge that we have a 90 degree fully curved floating staircase that they've built that goes up to an eight foot landing and it's supported by nothing they built they curved the plywood and they curved it it's it's pretty awesome when before I knew really much about it I, I thought the productions were amazing but I always thought there were a lot of outside influences and people coming in and there are great volunteers yeah we have some great parents that we but, but you would flip it's such a neat experience for the kids. When the show's running, we have a student stage manager. She calls about 600 cues over the course of the show. She's got a book this thick, and there's not an adult backstage. What's your really? background? Yeah. What's your background? I have a degree in theater, um, in theater with a focus in theater direction. Are you also an actor? I, I, I was, but I've been a director here a lot lately with not much time for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, when I do get the opportunity, I do it. I wonder if editing... Okay, you do editing. I, um, you do marketing. Okay. <laughs> okay, marketing, editing, and directing all seem very similar to me in that you're you're not the one sort of out in the front 
but you're sort of choreographing or making sure everything you can stays say doing all the work. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, 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 okay. I was thinking that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, well, hey, yeah. But I mean, that's the truth. You're making sure that nothing falls through the cracks, that everybody's... Do I know, and that the you, target audience is happy. You, like, you know, trim the fat, make sure that the bulk of, like, the information, what's important, what's pretty, okay. <laughs> is out there. Is it your job, you three, is it your jobs to make sure that the vision is um, carried through? Yeah, definitely. Very much yeah. so. Yeah. And how? How do you do that? Well, I'm sure it's different. A little bit in each yeah. field. application of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's Scotch Bar for the Not bridal the school. show. Yeah. No, oh, no. Not the school. <laughs> That's right. I think it's dry campus. Dry campus. Dry campus. Yes, it's a dry, yes, a dry <laughs> high school campus. Yeah, 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 exactly. But it is kind of interesting to really think about the thing, just the skill sets and the tools that the kids are actually learning. Right. All right, for those of you who may not have caught the beginning of this, let's sure. talk about where and when. Absolutely. Uh, we open February 16th at okay. Hilton Head High School. We have performances the 16th, 17th, and 18th at 7.30. And then we have an afternoon matinee on Sunday the 19th, and that's at 2. How does Barry get a ticket? Yeah, yeah. Marianne, I know she's I a marketer. Would, She'll she, 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 no, I want to know where yeah. to get tickets yeah. and how much they cost. Yeah, the adult tickets are twenty bucks. Uh, students are ten. Um, you can go to our website hhprep.org, okay. and you can go online. There's a link right there on the website where you can go and you can actually pick your seat. A lot of groups that do the VPAC just have general admission seating, but we've had a lot of luck with people being able to. They like to pick their seat, know where they're going to be, so they can arrive. And, right, not and have, have to rush in. There. Oh, that makes a right. lot of sense. Right, so it's it's reserved seating. So go online, pick your seat, and oh. we look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you for coming today. I'm kind of excited about it. Yeah, it's it's, it's a really fun. It's there. I say it's a brilliant. The script. The script is brilliant. I mean, it's so funny. Well, you know what we're going to do now. What are we going to do now? We're going on a field trip. Are we? Yes, we are. We Debbie are? Court's going to take us on a field trip to the greenery. So stay with us. There's a lot more to come.